Earthworms are adapted for life underground. Their streamlined shape allows them to burrow through soil. They have no skeletons or other rigid structures to interfere with their movement. The earthworm's body is divided into segments. Each segment has a number of seti, or very small bristles that earthworms use to help them grip the soil as they move. An earthworm moves by using two different sets of muscles. Circular muscles loop around each segment and longitudinal muscles run along the length of the body. When the circular muscles contract, the earthworm stretches, becoming longer and thinner. The earthworm uses its seti to anchor the front of its body in the soil. Now the longitudinal muscles contract and the earthworm becomes shorter and wider, or it bends from one side to the other, pulling the body forward. The earthworm withdraws the front seti and uses its rear seti to anchor itself at the back. The earthworm uses circular muscles to lengthen and push itself forward again. Earthworms have a head, though they have no eyes, nose or ears. The earthworm's skin provides some of the services we normally associate with our own sense organs. Light-sensitive cells are scattered in their outer skin, mainly at the ends of their bodies. They allow earthworms to detect light and changes in light intensity. Earthworms do not use a nose, mouth or lungs to breathe like we do. Instead, they use oxygen that is dissolved in the moisture on their skin and from the surrounding environment. Earthworms cannot hear, but they sense vibrations. Mature earthworms have a clitellum, or a saddle. The size, shape, colour and position of the clitellum varies between species. The clitellum means the earthworm is an adult and is ready to mate and lay eggs. Earthworms reproduce by forming a small egg sac called a cocoon at the clitellum. The cocoon slides off the earthworm's body and is deposited in the soil.